Take a look at these two Instagram models. Pretty face, welcoming smile, partnerships with brands. What do they two have in common? They're not real. Both of them were created with AI and exist only on our screens. But that's not stopping them from earning thousands of dollars from brand deals and spicy photos. But how does it all work? How can you create one and how are such influencers changing the industry? Let me explain. On paper, creating such an influencer might seem super simple. You just ask Dolly to generate you an image, upload it to Instagram, and boom, money, money, money. Yet the reality, as always, is much less simple. But before we go into all the nitty gritty details, let me show you one of the cutest influencers I ever saw, Beanfluencer. It has over 213,000 followers and is making Nothing. The project doesn't make any money. The bee was created in 2019 by Foundation The Friends and its goal is spread environmental messages to everyone who will listen. With Beanfluencer, the organization tries to protect the French and European bee colonies. This Beanfluencer idea might sound silly, but the huge number of followers proves that an AI-generated bee has found its way to people's hearts. You got the point. The world of AI influencers itself has a bit of a history with some models dating all the way back to 2009 or earlier. Just to put it into perspective, these are the images the AI was generating in 2015 and in 2009, the technology didn't even exist. Louisa here is one of those old school influencers that's been around since 2009 at 6.7 million followers. It's one of the biggest names in the industry. And Louisa is the best example of how AI influencers can be used because the company behind it has employed Lisa for all sorts of campaigns including unboxing, software tips and product reviews. But don't be surprised, the Magalu store sells a ton of stuff and Lisa has been its digital ambassador for years, eventually becoming the face of the company. Well, where am I going with this? Well, the idea is not new. The only thing that changes is the way it's done. 10 years ago, teams of CG artists worked on creating such images and those were mostly potty tricks created for branding and promotion of certain businesses. But now the AI does all the job in minutes and some of the most popular models were created by really small groups of people. I guess you agree with me that AI is super cool. So let me show you one cool thing that I found Wave Room AI, the sponsor of this video. Wave Room AI, the sponsor of this video. Wave Room AI makes it super easy to collaborate with bloggers, record podcasts, interviews, and so on. And it has a ton of useful features that other solutions may lack. Take AI noise removal, for example. Specifically trained algorithms will analyze every second of the audio and eliminate noise, distortion, and all that nasty stuff altogether. And editing the audio by itself is super convenient with multi-track recording and editing, freeing you from all the worries of separating one voice from the next. And then there's local recording feature that allows for proper high quality recordings. After this session, you can get videos up to 2K res and uncompressed audio in WAV format, 48 kilohertz, which is huge for further editing. The quality of content you're gonna produce, phew, that's gonna be nuts. The app is super easy to use. It has a friendly interface and doesn't take any time to figure out, hit the link below to sign up to Waveroom AI for free and check out all these unlimited features. So who are the masterminds behind these virtual influencers? The creators range from tech giants like Samsung, which introduced a virtual model named Sam, to startups such as Brud, that's behind hugely successful little Michaela from earlier, there are also individual creators like photographer Cameron James Wilson, who designed the world's first digital supermodel, Shudo. And why do these AI influencers exist? They're not just a fancy tech gimmick, they are reshaping digital marketing. Ruben Cruz, the creator of Itana, in one of the interviews said, we started analyzing how we were working and realized that many projects were being put on hold or canceled due to problems beyond our control. Often it was the fault of the influencer or model Model and not due to design issues. Instead of relying on human influencers who could be unpredictable or unreliable, the agency decided to create their own virtual influencer, Itana. She is designed to be friendly, engaging, and relatable, making her a perfect pitch woman for the brands that approach the agency. Itana's earning potential is really impressive with a maximum monthly income of 10,000 euros, 
However, on average, she generates around 3,000 euros per month. At least that's what the creators say. We did it so that we could make a better living and not be dependent on other people who have egos, have manias, or who just want to make a lot of money by posting. By offering controlled advertising experiences, these AI influencers are a marketer's dream. They can be tailor-made to appeal to specific groups, bringing a fresh, exciting angle to influencer marketing without all the hurdles of working with real people. They cost almost nothing to create and run and have huge potential as the image generation technology gets better and better. What I find especially interesting about this case is how quickly Itana managed to gain all those hundreds of thousands of followers. Many people just don't realize that they are looking at AI generated images. According to the agency, there has been quite a fun misunderstanding when a well-known Latin American actor texted to ask her out. He had no idea Itana didn't exist. Now let's answer the question that you all want to know. How much? How much does it cost to create your own influencer and how much can you earn? Unfortunately, answering this question isn't exactly easy. It all depends on how deep you want to go with AI, how much you can invest and how well is your strategy for social media promotion. With the right prompt, you can successfully generate headless photos that will be more than enough for Instagram, promoting clothes, brands and so on. It will even be enough to start the OF account and try to capitalize on that. You can also choose a more time-consuming out and train image generation models to give reliable results every time. This can also be free or require a couple dollars for a few subscriptions because in this case it will rarely be a one-click operation. You will use one AI model to generate a photo and then use something like Magnific Upscaler to add more realistic details, spatial features and so on. By the way, be sure to check out our test on that upscaler. The results it produces are crazy. This upscaler is not free and you will need to pay some money for the subscription for at least one month. But in that month, you can easily generate hundreds, if not thousands of images and upscale all of them. And if you have enough money to spare, you can go all out and hire someone to train the model for you. I'm sure it won't be a problem to find someone who knows Midjourney API and be willing to customize it for your needs. As for the money you can earn, that's where we are completely in the dark. As I already mentioned, the creators of Itana, with all her thousands of followers on Instagram, are making only a couple thousand dollars each month, which may sound like a lot to you, but if you factor in all the time they have poured into training the algorithm, you will see that the returns on such investment are quite varied. And don't forget that those guys had the experience and knowledge of promoting stuff on Instagram, so they definitely knew what they were doing and how to make the account possible. Popular. If you do not have such knowledge, it may take a while for you to start making money. And here, of course, it all depends on you and how far you will go to earn money. Because let's not forget what sells nowadays. You can focus the Instagram account on brand deals or ignore the moral side of things and start the OF account and sell, well, you know what they sell there. But as a quick side hustle for those with knowledge and free time, this does seem like an opportunity. With enough time, trial and error and persuasion, I am sure it is very much possible to grow a successful influencer account without having to make any photos or even have a model at all. Now let's take a look at how it's all done. On YouTube, you would typically find three ways to do it. And the simplest one needs only one AI tool called SynthLife. With this AI tool, the process is super simple. First, we need to input two celebrity names that will be the sources of face data for our model. We can input the preferred hair color too and regenerate the image as many times as needed if the results don't fit our liking. Then when the face is finalized, we can start creating the photos themselves. The the AI tool allows selecting what type of clothing we want our model to wear, what the background will look like, whether the model will smile and so on. Also, there is an option to choose a pose and image format. All the generated images will have the face we generated earlier and you don't have to worry about it looking natural or swapped. Another cool feature of this tool is the ability to copy Instagram posts and change the model in them. The AI is super smart and it will replace the face with 
surgical precision and also do a couple of minor adjustments to the image itself so that it looks more coherent. So this AI also can clone images. It is as easy as uploading the image you want to copy, adjusting the creativity level and enjoying the results. This app can also do TikTok refacing. So if you at any moment need to shoot a video with your model, you can just ask your female friend to talk on camera and later change the face to the one you generated earlier. Everything is super simple here. You don't need to learn coding or do basically anything super simple and fast. The second approach will need a bit more effort and it promises better results and much more flexibility. Still, no coding is needed. You will have to use stable diffusion web UI for that and a set of checkpoints, which are basically training data that was already processed and optimized for certain tasks. It won't be difficult to find a checkpoint that was trained on photorealism, which will give us super realistic and high quality images. But I personally think the third way deserves far more attention. So let's skip my journey web altogether. This third option is high risk, high reward kind of deal because it actually needs you to install focus. If you decide to try this method, make sure that your computer has at least eight gigs of RAM and a good CPU card inside. And by the way, this will only work on Windows. So if you're a Mac user, the first option might be the one for you. So, okay, we have a Windows PC. What next? You will need a special app called Pinocchio where you have to find focus and download it. The beauty of Focus is that it will automatically download and deploy the model on your computer. And all you will have to look at is a web interface. It is quite clear and easily understandable. There is an input field for your prompt and an option to input an image and a special button that opens advanced settings like resolution, aspect ratio, number of images, style, and so on. After that, you will have to input a prompt for the base image. You can write one yourself or just find one online tailored for this exact model. The only downside to this method is that it is quite time consuming and resource intensive. So you will pretty much need to abandon your computer for a minute or so. After the base image is generated, you will need to switch on the input image option and upload the base image you generated a minute ago. After that, it's as simple as writing another prompt for the final image. If something on the image looks weird, Focus has a menu for in painting and out painting. With this feature, you can easily fix crooked fingers or artifacts from AI generation. You can change the eye color, the clothing, and so on. This might be a more difficult way of doing things, but the results will be the absolute best you can think of. There is a slim chance that you will have to do some Photoshop work and blend in brand logos in case you will be doing a collaboration, but I guess we will cross the bridge when we get there. Now, when you see how easy it is to create such AI influencers, do you think real models have any chance of staying in the industry? This is a really difficult question to answer because there are a lot of variables. AI generated influencers have their quirks, like being almost free to operate, able to work nonstop and produce tons of content. However, they also have limitations and types of content you can do. Since they can exist only in a digital plane, the only content they can do is images and occasional deep fake videos that take much more time and resources to make. They cannot attend any real life events, engage with celebrities, do real collaborations and so on. All this significantly limits not only the financial side of things, but the overall growth of the industry. Despite having certain difficulties to work with, real life human influencers and models are real. You can meet them in restaurants, see them on the street filming something, watch a podcast with them. They will have opinions on something, engage in conversations, debates, and do all sorts of things humans usually do. I don't want to sound like Mark Zuckerberg and say that AI is going to replace humans because it won't. There will always be a niche for human-made, real content and real people, no matter how advanced AI will be. These AI-generated models and influencers can compete with real models in the digital world. And if real influencers want to stay in the business, they'd have to come up with something that AI cannot replicate just to stay relevant. The content will change, the fashion, social media will change, but people will always adapt faster than any algorithms. So until we all can stay a few steps ahead, we're golden. I wish I had the ability to predict where the technology will go and how many AI influencers there will be in a couple of years. But the only thing that is certain is that it can indeed be a source of income if done correctly. Let's not forget about all those beautifying filters that people used to look like Asian girls on stream 
streaming platforms, such a simple trick allows them to make thousands of dollars from donations. So if you manage to train AI models to correctly generate photos, you could potentially grow an Instagram account and then with some more effort, learn how to create videos, how to repurpose content. This could give you the opportunity to do TikTok, for example. But I personally think that trying to earn from a digital persona is far more difficult than to earn from AI in general because there are so many great things that AI can do, so many ways to make money. Take all those websites where people can buy prawn packages, for example. But if you are hell-bent on creating your own AI influencer, you have to be prepared to spend time on it. To become big in this industry, you will have to learn new technologies as fast as possible, learn not only how to work with AI, but also the basics of Photoshop in case the image needs adjustments that AI cannot do. You will have to probably even learn 3D and special effects if you ever decide to create videos that will look reasonably real and good enough to fool a regular person. For example, Unreal Engine has a thing called Meta Human, where you can easily create a 3D person that will look almost perfectly photorealistic. If you manage to get hold of this skill, there will be almost no limits to what your AI persona can do. You will be able to choose any pose imaginable, animate movement if needed, and do all sorts of things. If you do it with a green background, you will be able to use AI to generate a still background for a video, or use upscalers to make the images look even more realistic. There is just so much potential and so many things to count for. So don't think that this is gonna be a walk in the park. But if you don't want all that hurdle, you can try and do something simpler with AI. And for that, be sure to check out our other videos where we not only test AI tools, but also look for ways to make money off of them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.